welcome back to my channel and welcome to finally a real-time workout. So I filmed these a bunch a few years ago and they are pretty much your favorite videos in my entire YouTube collection. So I'm back at them. I'm here with Simone. So Simone is my Pilates instructor. She is the owner here of The Loft Pilates and Bar. Hi. Yesterday I came to The Loft and I did a hot Pilates class. And while I was doing the class, I was thinking, yes, I'm gonna incorporate this exercise into my real-time workout tomorrow. I'm gonna show you guys this and then I had the epiphany. I was like, why don't I bring you guys into the Pilates class that I did yesterday? So I asked Simone, I was like, hey, do you want to film a real-time workout together? So here we yeah. are. So what are we going to do today? We're going to do a mobility flow and pretty much a core-based workout. Just a quick 20-minute hot Pilates session. Yeah. So yeah. what do they need at home? Nothing. Just your body and your mat. A mat. Yeah. If you don't have a mat, you can use a towel. Yeah, you can use a towel. You can yeah. just be on the grass at the beach, wherever you like. It's fine. So 20 minutes. Body um, weight. Can I just say that I feel like for me, my core is one of the strongest parts of my body and I was feeling this hardcore <laughs> yesterday. Like, it is intense. Yeah. <laughs> so before we start, what's yes. the difference between core and abs? We train both. Um, ab work is where you're using your abdominals to move your spine. So you're going into flexion, an ab curl or a side bend. And that's really important because essentially you have to get out of bed every morning and that's how we get out of bed. Mm. Then we've got core stability and core stability is where you use your abdominal, you, you use your core to stabilize your spine in neutral. So we'll work both of those things and it's and the perfect way to sculpt. Help posture. Yeah, posture, sculpting your core. And not only that, but if you fall in the street, that's the thing that saves you from falling over. So that's pretty important in your stilettos on a Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't wear stilettos, but it's important in our Ugg boots. For us, it's more our Ugg boots. boots. <laughs> important in your Uggs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 20 minutes. Grab your mat. Grab your water. Let's get started. So we're going to lie down to start. Starting on our backs, heel bones in line with hip sockets. And we're going to start with a little bit of mobility. So just reach your hands up to the ceiling, shrug the shoulders up and exhale, drop them down. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, tuck your pelvis under, roll through C curve, press your hips all the way up to bridge. Inhale, stay. Exhale, ripple and roll all the way back down one vertebrae at a time. At the base, just find neutral. And again, tuck the pelvis under. Roll through C-curve, press your hips all the way up to bridge. Inhale, stay and exhale, ripple and roll all the way back down. We've got one more of these. Tuck the pelvis under, roll through C-curve. I always regret wearing a ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> hips up and then ripple and roll all the way back down. Find neutral spine, take your hands to the thighs. We're getting into the abs now. Slide the shoulders down and exhale, roll up into an ab curl. Reaching for the knees and inhale, roll back down. Exhale, ab curl up. For two, inhale, roll down. For two, exhale, ab curl. Inhale, roll. We've got four more here, nice and slow. And you wanna check that the belly is scooped in and up rather than doming and bulging up the abdominals. Last one here, exhale, scoop, lift up and stay. Hold, hands hammock the head, top range pulse. We've got four counts of eight here. For the next four counts of eight, you don't want your shoulder blades to touch the mat at all. Again, you're scooping the belly in and up. And I feel like you have a good tip about the apple yeah. and the chin. So at the top of the rep, you just want to check that your fist could fit between your chin and your chest. So you're not crunching the neck in and causing any neck tension at all. Here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll back down. Take your hands onto your hips. And we're going to check that the core and the, st and the pelvis is nice and stable now. Float your legs up to tabletop without letting your pelvis move at all and just maintaining a little tiny blueberry size gap underneath the low back. We're gonna stretch the right leg out and then switch and then switch. That's it, switching the legs in single leg stretch. You should feel this in your tummy muscles straight away, maintaining that strong rib to hip connection. And how low can I put my legs in this? So ideal Pilates technique, toes are at the same height. So that's kind of textbook Pilates, but you can add more challenge by taking the extended leg down lower if you'd like. Just as long as you don't feel it in your lower back. Yeah? That's the thing, because the lower you take it, the harder it is not to arch off the mat. So you wanna keep the backs of the ribs bolted down, supporting that tiny little blueberry size curve underneath the small of your back using your core. We're gonna pick up the pace with the legs now. Off we go, switch, switch. Inhale for two, exhale for two. Inhale for two, exhale for two. In eight counts time, we're gonna add an ab curl. Seven, 
six, five. Take the hands to the back of the head. Ready, in to prepare. Exhale, curling up. For two, inhale, roll down. For two, exhale, ab curl. At the top of the ab curl again, you've got that fist distance between your chin and your chest. You're scooping through the bell, lengthening the lower back into the mat. Exhale, ab curl. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, ab curl. Inhale, lower. As a modification, you can leave your head down for this entire set. We're gonna stay lifted now. Lifted and square here for eight, seven, six. You should be five. feeling it by now, surely. <laughs> Let's add rotation to the bent knee. Off we go, switch, switch, switch. Whoop, double up, there we go. Switch, switch, scooping through the belly. We've got eight, switch, seven, six, five. Four more here. For three, for two, and for one, hug the knees. Ooh. Take your hands behind your thighs. Let's rock and roll all the way up. So we're feeling sizzled right through the core. Surely. This next exercise, we're gonna keep feeling in the core. That's the idea. So come into four point kneeling. We're doing opposite arm and leg. Square your body off to the mat. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Try and cinch the sides of the waist. So shoulder blades pulling down, scoop through belly. Reach your right hand forward. Thumb to the ceiling, shoulders stay down. Now kick your left leg back. In this one, you wanna reach your fingertips as far forward as possible and kick the heel back as far as possible. That's gonna make your body wanna twist. Then you're using your core to stabilize. Flex foot? Yeah, flex foot's better to feel it in your core. If it's pointed, it goes into glute work. And we wanna keep the core of the focus here. Let's tap the limbs to the mat straight down and then reach. Tap them down and then reach. So we're doing this action without any sort of adjustments, sinking through the spine or twisting through the hips. Let's do four more here. Tap down, scoop, reach for three. You wanna be careful that you're not sinking into that shoulder, so push the mat down and away from you and reach. Last one, tap. Reach out and stay. Now we're gonna take the limbs out sideways to the width of the mat, then float back in. Out to the width of the mat, float back in. Two more here. And I always say in these ones, make sure you are keeping your mind on your core and really sucking that belly button towards the spine because a lot of people just go, <sighs> yeah. you know, kind of <laughs> drop their belly. So keep it tight and keep it engaged. Totally. That's our focus. Last one here. And then come back in. Place that hand down. Step that left foot forward and hold. We're just going to take a little mobility stretch here. So straighten your back leg if you want a little bit more of a stretch. Keep your right hand on the mat. Reach your left arm all the way up and then come back in, tap the back knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap back down. Three more here. Two more. Last one. Hands to the mat, both of them. Step both feet back into a plank. We're in a forward facing plank. Your modification can be short plank or bear pose where your knees are stacked underneath your um, hips but still an inch off the mat. Otherwise, this is the intermediate version. We're gonna do the advanced one. We're gonna drop down to the elbows now. You, from here, you wanna pull your elbows to your toes and your toes to your elbows. Really try to lengthen the body and keep the hips low without sinking into the lower back. Again, all activation is in low body. For the next 15 seconds, we're gonna tap the knees out. So tap the right knee to the mat, then left, then right, then left. Keeping pelvis still and stable. Tap and tap, double time, tap, tap, tap. It's like horizontal You could do this in like a commercial break. Yeah, right? Like watch TV. <laughs> Eight more counts, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, knees down, cat stretch. Hands underneath your shoulders, round your body, scoop and round, ripple through arch. Scoop and round, ripple through arch. <sighs> Inhale as you arch. We've got three more here. Two more. These always feel so good. Right, last one. All right, we're gonna do a little mobility core flow here. It looks like this. Your hands come to the mat, you send your hips up. You rise up onto your toes, you tuck your pelvis under and slowly unravel to plank. That's it, now send the hips up, feel that stretch into your back body. You rise up, you slide your kneecaps up the front of the legs, think belly button to spine as you ripple, unravel all the way through until your shoulders come over your wrists. So shoulders are just over wrists or like over the top in front of the hands. Like stacked directly above them for this one, yeah. And then send the hips all the way up. Let's keep going, rise up onto the toes. Tuck the pelvis under, ripple and unravel all the way through. Send the hips up. 
We're gonna do three more th here. It should feel like an ab curl as you bring those hips down because you're really rounding through the spine using the abs. Send the hips up. Last two. Ripple unravel. And then we're gonna get into your favorite, actually, that the side one. Flow. Yeah, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Shack the pelvis under, slowly come into plank and hold. All right, from here, we're stepping that left foot forward again. This same leg as before. Yeah, this is Do you know why? Because I do abs so much, and when I find it work out like an exercise I haven't done before, I'm like, yes, yeah. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> oh my God. I love this one. <laughs> Leave your right hand down, reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Okay, modified version first. You drop your back knee to the floor, and then you step your other leg out, and this is your side plank if that, that for a modified version. Full version. Reach that left arm up, look at your hand, engage your core, roll onto the outside of your right foot and step into your side plank, hold. All right, we're holding here. You wanna draw the hand towards the foot, the foot towards the hand and try and rainbow your body, so lifting the hips up. Beautiful, we're gonna start to pulse now. Pulse, pulse. Everyone's favorite word, not. That's it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Can't get enough of those pulses. Pulse, pulse, beautiful. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring your bottom knee down first, then your other knee down. Cartwheel the arms over the other side. You hover the fingertips off the mat and you step your right leg out. We're gonna reach up to the ceiling and lower. This lower. looks easy, but it gets hard. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me. This one's a lot. So the focus is still on the right side of your body. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Make sure you're breathing, ideally in through the nose and exhaling as you lift and keep the head and neck reaching away from you. We're gonna go double time for the last count of eight. Off we go, eight, seven, six, rib to hip connection. No overarching through spine. Take the hand to the mat, reach the body out long line and now we're rainbowing knee tuck and reach, knee tuck and reach. You're trying to kiss your knee here. Again, the focus is on the right side of the waist, tuck and reach. But now we're challenging and training the stability of the left shoulder and the underside of the waist for six. Reach, five, four more here, four, three. We've got one more set of star pulses for two. Last one, take that foot to the mat, reach the arms up and hold, pulse. Pulse. In this one, it's really tempting for your ribs to flare and body to arch. Think rib to hip connection. So the activation is in the side body and not in QL, not in those back muscles. Don't want an angry lower back after this one. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Keeping those shoulders melting down. Eight more counts. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, take the hand to the mat, side bend. <sighs> ah, it's an over, it feels so good. And then back to four point nearly. We're gonna do the other side, ready? Yep. Stack the shoulders over the wrists, engage your core, reach your left hand forward, thumb to the ceiling, hold, kick your right leg back, hold. This is that tug of war action through the body. So imagine your hands being pulled, your legs being pulled back, the body wants to twist. Use your core to stabilize and stay centered to the mat. We're gonna keep the limbs li uh, lengthened, but tap them down to the mat and lift. Tap them down and lift. Tap and reach. We've got tap and reach. Four more here. So you're reaching without sinking into low back. So imagine you're zipping up the fly of a tight pair of jeans. Two more pubic bone to belly button, scoop. Last one, kick up, reach and hold. We're going out sideways now. Out to the side and back in center. Still cinching that side body and center. And just another reminder to keep that right hip down. I know at this point a lot of people might be up like this. You wanna keep it nice and parallel. Totally. We've got three more here. Two more, reach and center, last one, reach and center. Pop that hand down, step your right foot forward, hold. And then go into that little mobility exercise. So tuck the toes, straighten the back knee for more challenge. Reach your right arm up, exhale, dive through, tap the back knee. Inhale, lift, exhale, dive through. This is gonna take us into our side plank. You've got two more thread the needle, starting to think about whether you would like to do the modified version with the back knee on the floor, 
or going to the full progression. So reach that right arm up. If you're modifying, drop that back knee, step the other foot back. Otherwise, reach up, look at the hand, roll onto the outside of your left foot and stack into a side plank. Oh, so your, your front foot's pointed. It can be pointed, okay. yeah. Right, but actually be... more challenges here, stacked on top. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty good with this one. You went straight, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a civilized pointed toe at the front, nice. Pulse, pulse, lifting that waistband right up to the ceiling. This, this, this burns my supporting shoulder. Yeah, right. So you get all of that shoulder mobility benefit. You're wrapping the shoulder blade under the side of the ribs and lifting that waistband up for three, two, one. Bring your bottom knee down, other knee down. Cartwheel the arms over the side. Fingertips hover off the mat and you extend the, the left leg out. Rib to hip connection strong, looking up towards your top hand. Exhale, lift to the ceiling and lower. So this time the focus is on the left side of the waist. Yeah, I'd never seen this workout, but like this exercise before. Yeah, it's ever. a good one, isn't it? Yeah. I love this one. When I saw you do it in class, I was like, child's play. But yeah. after a while, I was like, oh. <laughs> I know. I love that about Pilates. So yeah, it looks, looks so, so pretty easy. And easy. Kurt yeah. behind the camera. Mate, yeah. you need to try this one. <laughs> Pulse. For the last count of eights, we're gonna go double time. Ready, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hand to the mat, reach up and over, knee tucks and reach, tuck and reach. I love this one because it opens up and mobilizes that lateral line of your body, but then fires it up at the same time. And reach. We've got eight, seven, six, Five, four more here, four, three, two, one. Take that foot back to the mat, reach top hand up, come to the fingertips of your right hand, start to pulse, pulse, pulse. How do you talk through this whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> Can sing it's and dance skill. at the same time. It's a skill. <laughs> I'm just like concentrating. <laughs> Pulse, pulse. Remember to soften the sternum down the front of the body so you're not flaring through the ribs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Two hands to the mat. I won't be talking through this next one. We're gonna step the feet back, do spinal mobility, and add push-ups. It's gonna be 30 seconds. Ready, step the feet back into plank. This is gonna be your lot. Bring yeah. it. <laughs> Send the hips all the way up. Here we go. Rise up, tuck the pelvis under, ripple all the way forwards and through. One push up, bend, press. Tricep push up. up or a chest push up? Pardon me? Tricep push up or chest push up? It depends what suits you better. I take my elbows wide in my push ups. When I'm doing yoga, I keep my elbows narrow. Right. So I'll copy you. I'll do yeah. That. Ring finger, pinky finger off the side of the mat. Yep. Come all the way down into your plank. Yep, beautiful. Inhale, lower. Press, send the hips up. Again, rise, tuck, ripple forwards and through. Hand up. All right, smashing it out. Got 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Send the hips up, downward face dog. Just shake your head no. I didn't think there was gonna be push-ups today. <laughs> That's what I need. I, I always slack off with upper body. I need upper body. <laughs> Another head, yes. And then slowly come down onto your knees. Let's swing those legs around and we're gonna get into our splits. Oh, yes. Splits are gonna take us into hundreds. Super traditional Pilates exercise here. So let's roll all the way down. Take your right leg to the ceiling. I want you to grab the calf, so this is ideal. But if the calf's a little too far away, grab the hamstring, grab something meaty on your body, not the knee joint, because it'll bend. Inhale, prepare. <laughs> <laughs> Exhale, ab curl and hold. Now you're lengthening lumbar spine into the mat. Now extend the other leg out at eye line. Double pulse, switch. Pulse, pulse, switch. <laughs> You'll notice the breath is a little different in this one. Traditional Pilates breath, you're doing inhale, inhale, exhale, switch. It's got a sniffing breath. In, in, out. <laughs> to modify for this one, you can just go back to single leg stretch. If you're not working in ab curls at the moment or any neck tension, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four more here, four, three, Two, we're gonna send the legs both up to the ceiling together. Reach the arms forward, pulse the arms down. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. 
four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. The modified version is either leaving the legs up or bringing them into tabletop. To make it a little bit more challenging, we're gonna reach the legs down, ideally in line with your eyes. We're halfway, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale. 30 to go, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, 20. Exhale, two, three, hit for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees Woo. into your chest. Have a little wriggle. And again with that one, just keeping focused on drawing the belly button towards your spine. I know with that one, a lot of people say, how do you keep your belly flat? Because they push out. Yeah. And I think practice makes perfect with yeah. core engagement. Totally. I always suggest hugging the hip bones in and then scooping the belly in and up. So you get that sort of um, activation there where your lower abdominals feel a little like a trampoline. Your core's not meant to be cement hard. If you activate that like a trampoline and then think about scooping in and up, that's the best way to sort of maintain that scoop as opposed to bulging and doming. I also like how you say the core is like a strap. It straps around you like your yeah. obliques. I yeah. love, so when I'm doing like plank, I think about that, the strapping feeling and I'm like yeah, strapping myself in. Yeah. I feel like that helps totally. mentally. Cinch the waist. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Like I have a nice little sweaty upper lip. Oh, I've got it all going on. Yeah. Sweaty yeah. everything. <laughs> if you guys like this workout, please let us know. Give this video a like. Comment below what you want to see from us because we can definitely do more collab yeah. Pilates workouts. But I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Hope your core is on fire and we'll see you in our next video. Yeah. Thanks Bye. for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.